Today I want to come with you the power and the meaning of fashion and I'll try to do it like a stylist shows his creation on the runway walk. So let's start this experience. As I've already said, I'll talk about fashion and I decided to start this journey with a little part of such a fashion show because it represents better for me my idea of fashion. That's all thanks to Gianni and Donatella, two innovators from this fantastic field and that's why I was inspired by them. But now let's focus more on this topic. We heard about uh, clothes, fragrances and some of the stuff of famous brands every day. But the most important thing is that every brand points out a quality of a person. So now let's take a look on that brand's vision. For Versace is power to a woman. For Gucci is mixed between contemporary and historical references. For Moschino is be unconventional. And lastly, for Yves Saint Laurent, is an identifiable and unique experience. As you can see, every brand interprets in a different way its concept of fashion. People have only to choose which philosophy is better for them. But nowadays, an element is very important to guarantee a brand success. And that is the ability to reinterpret different stages, like the past or the future. Right in spring, summer and fall winter season this year, we can notice a vintage comeback, particularly on 70 and 19 years with bright color and decided cut. But also the future team has returned, for example, Space Adventure Interpretation by Karl Lagerfeld or the Retro Future Interpretation by Alessandro Michele for Gucci has been very successful. Differentiation from the masses thanks to unique clothes or only an adjustment with uh, uh, newer trends. What does fashion really mean? Usually people answer to this question with stereotypes like yes, you know, fashion is only to adapt to what all the other people thinking. But luckily, this idea is unsure by everyone. Fashion has to be considered like a style of life to create out of nowhere. Every person has to know how to customize their own style depending to some stylistic rules and in every situation. But the most important thing to avoid is to not consider fashion only like an industry because there's an universe behind this concept. But all that glisters is not gold, especially in fashion world. It's not a strange thing for fashion brands to make some collection that people criticize or don't like at all. But what makes the difference between a successful brand from all the other one is the ability to accept other people's criticism and challenge themselves or dare more if it is necessary with the next collection. But now let's pass to a fantastic statement for me of uh, Gianni Versace. He says that if you read the tag, that's something that doesn't work. This statement is uh, very important because it contains the concept behind the haute couture and that concept is called brand identity. So a brand to be successful needs to instill a very well-defined and non-ambiguous idea through their clothes that necessarily have to recognize as who made them. In uh, the last year, fashion is part of our culture, our history, our art, in the present but also in the past. To be successful, you need to have the ability to identify society's changes and try to transfer all of them into your creation. Usually, art inspires fashion, but sometimes uh, the opposite happened. The stylist who represent this concept for me is Paco Rabanne. His creations are most of the time made with unusual material for clothes like metal or plastic parts. And also I really appreciate the creation because are very very different between them. So for me are two artworks. 
You know as well, but also very impressive is the association between music and fashion. Music is usually used to break the barriers and fashion is uh, necessary for daring. The combination of these two things can create uh, a lot of incredible collection that go against uh, today's fashion rules. That's the case of Yves Saint Laurent, that's called and dressed some of the most uh, world-renowned rock singer in order to present his uh, spring, summer and fall winter collection. But one of the most important concepts or aspects behind uh, a successful brand is the family. In fact, it has always represented a reference point for every person since childhood. And the same uh, concept will be applied to fashion world. To take an example, the family behind Versace has always been essential. Gianni and Donatella as a stylist and Santo as a businessman have always worked together from the beginning, taking the family brand into another level. But the most important things that haute couture brands have had to face in the last year is the increasing influence of social network. They guarantee a lot of visibility and a more direct communication strategy with younger people. Last but not least, newer generations have a direct and easier way to individuate the concept behind the brand or the stylist. To sum up, fashion, like art and culture, is one of the unique Italian things. Fashion attracts a lot of tourists from everywhere and it is also one of the first voices of Italian revenues without considering that uh, is a point of reference for style all over the world. Italian fashion brands have worldwide diffusion and uh, they are also world known. For sure, two of the most important cities talking about fashion in the world are for sure Rome and Milan, for example. But as I myself am very fond of Versace, I really appreciated Franco Zeffirelli's definition about Gianni because the definition contains what does fashion really mean for me. He says that Gianni Versace is the stylist who freed fashion from conformity by giving it fantasy and creativity. So we have reached the last part of his journey. But before the end, I want to explain to you what fashion represents for me. Every person has always tried to be able to express themselves freely. And that's why everyone may be his or her own stylist as long as what we are wearing is great to their own eyes. Thank you.